Maria vende os 10 tambores por 50 nunos cada. This is um, day two of me being in uh, Rio, so it's a real eye-opener to come um, away from central Rio where I've been in the uh, Municipal Theatre, which is beautiful and we're putting on a big show there, to, to this place, which is astonishing. And what's really interesting, last night I was at the uh, Municipal Theatre for a rehearsal and there was a huge amount of energy and excitement coming in here today and there's an equal, if not more, amount of energy going on. The noise which has been percolating through these walls before we actually went in to see the, uh, the young people is astonishing. Actually being there among them uh, is phenomenal. The sort of noise, the excitement, the buzz, you really can feel it. It's, it's absolutely palpable and as a sort of foreigner walking in there, you know, you really feel it. It kind of hits you when, you when you go in. There's so many things that are impressive about this. One thing I've really been struck by is how, you know, Monday morning people come in and they're a bit Monday morning-ish and a bit cowed, not knowing quite what is going to happen and the, the genius, I think, of the people who are running this, of being able to get the young people to talk about themselves and to talk about what they're facing and not to scare them but to make the issues that they're dealing with very much their issues as opposed to you know, the issues that, that others may, may, may try to teach them. In fact, there's no teaching issues, which I think is really quite impressive. So rather than a sort of teacher telling you what to do, it's drawing out of these young people how they can change their lives. And I think the process seems just incredible. And talking to one or two people, this notion of entrepreneurship, of, of teaching how to go out there and make a living, I think is uh, extraordinarily impressive. And actually, you know, coming from the UK, also uh, rather humbling, because one can only imagine those, the lives that these people have come from. And to see them seeking to, to budget, to work out how you can make some profit, to, to work out how you can market things, to work out what it is you're going to market, uh, I think is quite extraordinary. It's a, an extraordinarily powerful experience to go through. I'm talking to a young man about his scheme and what he was doing and wants to do, uh, understanding that in the morning he's at uh, school and then in the afternoon he's out there for three or four hours selling um, various pastries. And I couldn't quite work out what the pastries were, but they sounded very good. And he's moving around the street selling this thing. But now you can see ambition because he's saying, well, I've done that bit, but I now also want to have a fixed place where I can sell. And that sort of sense of, of growth, of thinking, I'll start off here, but then I'll, I'll go here and then maybe somewhere else, I think is wonderfully impressive. I think the trainers and, and master trainers, they do one hell of a job to make things gel with people so that it's their work, their exploring, their lessons. To do that, as opposed to simply sitting down and saying, okay, this is what you do, that I think requires a huge amount of skill. And I'm very, very impressed by and what they do. I also um, love the idea of um, throwing a ball, where you can only speak with a ball. I think I might take that back to my executive team meetings at the ROH or the BBC. Um, but that's uh, very impressive. I also have a sense that if you've done something wrong, you dance. Um, how wonderful. I think the other thing which really has struck me very much in the uh, brief time I've been here is also this notion of sustainability. In other words, this is something which must live on. It's not an intervention where you know, people come in, do something, move off, and then who knows what happens. I think this notion that this actually it can be taken on and then can be a permanent and lasting feature um, of life here is very, very impressive indeed. And I have to say, some things I've seen here, I would very much like to take back to our own Royal Opera House education programme and the work we're doing uh, uh, around London. I mean, I might have to say, I don't know if it's still fun, but it, this is utterly brilliant, I have to say. <laughs> this is completely inspiring. Uh, I shall remember this for a very, very long time, so thank you to everyone here.